Good morning. It is the 2nd of November. It's a Thursday, which means later on today I'll be having my coaching session with Kit. I've just been to the gym this morning, had my smoothie, listened to a podcast while I was getting ready. I listened to an episode of the Smart Passive Income podcast, um, who I've been following Pat Flynn since before I started like he's one of the reasons I started um he's just such a lovely person who I got to meet a few months ago which was really cool um anyway did that and yeah I think it's like 8 30 it is 8 30 it's 8 32 and did I say I've been to the gym yes I've been to the gym <laughs> squats today really feeling yesterday we were doing chin up stuff and I can't really straighten my arms because of the muscle soreness which is good but yeah um anyway yeah today I am doing some self coaching scholars it's a new month obviously November and there's like a certain topic for each month and um so it's a new topic last month was organizing your life and your mind I still have a little bit to do from that, Um, just finishing organizing a few things, but I've done most of it now. And my arm keeps getting so sore when I hold it up like this. Oof. Um, I'll go back. (laughs) And what was I saying? Yeah, this month is emotional balance. Also, I feel like I'm promoting self-coaching scholars every vlog, but I'm not. I have no... Um, like relationship with the course or anything like that I'm just using it and loving it um, so this month is emotional balance so I'm about to watch the like videos about the month and do whatever the daily work is and then I'm going to just get straight into a few vlo- vlogging blogging things um, that I want to do today which is basically around Pinterest stuff and creating Pinterest images for some of my blog posts that I just haven't done (laughs) and it's really important for growing my blog because most of you guys have at some point come from Pinterest Um, so basically that's all I'll be doing today and then coaching and then work yesterday just a house update Steve went to um, look at the house again to see that everything for the building and pest was okay and it was so basically whoops basically um, it should be all happening um, and the contract should be going unconditional tomorrow and then um, it should be ours next Friday <laughs> which is very exciting um, I'm so so excited I was looking up sheets and towels yesterday um, because I want to get new ones just because it's something little that will make it uh, like you know if you're sleeping in sheets that aren't amazing or even like our ones are just a bit old now um, it makes a difference so I found some good ones that are just from Target and they're just like 90 bucks I think um yeah I also wanted some I think I'm gonna get the white ones even though it's not practical for photo purposes um from blogging stuff and also some towels that were like $18 each we've just been using older towels so really excited have been looking for a desk as well haven't found one yet there's a few from Ikea that look okay but I just want a really nice white simple desk um and that's probably a bit bigger than the one I have or just a bit longer so yeah that's basically an update I will keep you updated I will probably I don't know chat to you a little bit later on and then after coaching as well also just to let you know in case you have been watching all my vlogs a couple of vlogs ago I had a parcel from the iconic which was a dress and I said I was gonna open it in yesterday's vlog In yesterday's vlog I forgot about it because I'd opened it that morning and it was just like no like not a good dress it wasn't like horrible oh god sorry just so sore um 
it just like didn't fit so it was this nice it looked beautiful in the photo it was just this white oh god I don't know how to describe it like a material with like dots like embossed material almost a sheer one and then it had a slip under it um and it was like I guess just above the knee and it had really nice sleeves but like it had a split and then the sleeve sort of falls away but it looked like a bag on me and then when I went back and looked at the photo you could kind of see that like there's a bit around the waist that I thought would sort of cinch in um, and give you like a figure but it wasn't it was just this baggy dress and it was too long like the model in the and I checked the model's measurements and I knew she was taller than me. I'm 168 centimeters, but it just came down like at my knees, which is not a flattering length. Like I feel like it needs to be either midi, so like mid calf, full length, or like mid thigh, or a bit lower, but when it's on the knee, it's just like not the place. So as soon as I tried it on, I was like, no, nah, I only really want to put things back in my cupboard that I, my wardrobe that I love. And so I'm, when I'm buying things, I'm going to be really picky. I was also looking at the quality um, and there were some loose threads and things and I was like, no. Nah. And then <laughs> I was also thinking like, would I want this a year from now? Like, is it going to be something that I can just keep wearing so I immediately packed it up, printed out the label to send it back, and then it's ready in my bag. I took it to post last night, but I completely forgot about it. So it's in my bag to be posted back today. So that's, that's that. But anyway, I'll talk to you a bit later. So I have just finished my coaching session with Kit. I'm sitting in my car, as you can see, I've got the air con on. And I just thought I would give you a little update about what we talked about. So this week has actually been the first week in a while that I've just felt like everything has gone basically according to plan. I feel like every other week, um, as you will know if you've been watching because I've spoken about it every week, I was really struggling with planning and then last week particularly I realized that the time management issues weren't actually time management issues it was more so self-sabotage and that I was just the old like scared I'll do my best and it won't be good enough so I'll just do nothing at all but so much more sneaky because instead of doing nothing I was just filling my time with being stressed about uploading these YouTube videos and just keeping myself busy um, because I wasn't planning then things were taking longer and yeah so basically I could fill my time with all the things that I was already comfortable with um, like putting these videos up on YouTube blog posts emails Instagram all of that and not allowing myself any room for the new things that I want to do to grow my blog and YouTube channel and everything like that because I'm scared that I'll do it and it won't work out and yeah I've just really given myself some permission to um to be a beginner and to not like all I really need to change is not that you know I'm only going to succeed and make sure I only do things at work um instead of trying to protect myself from failure it's just to manage my thoughts and if I do fail quote unquote fail um, to not make that mean something about me to not make it mean that I'm not good enough to not make it mean um, I'm never going to succeed or anything like that but to just make it mean oh that way didn't work at this time what can I try next so yeah I just feel really good about everything oh, I've just realized this is probably shaking because I put it on the steering wheel that's shaking um, sorry about that if it was but yeah, so we were just talking about what I'm going to be getting up to. I really want to give myself some space in the next few weeks to be moving house. <laughs> so exciting. And I really just want to be have the, have the time to enjoy it and 
um, be there, be present when I'm there. So yeah, so I'm doing a little bit extra this week in terms of writing an extra blog post um, and all of that just so that I can also start to get a bit ahead of schedule but so I've got a few things up my sleeve for the coming weeks. So yeah, the other thing as well we're talking about and I'd love to hear your thoughts on this is that you guys asked me for so much blogging advice. I did a big post about how to start a blog um, which you guys loved and if you haven't read it, I'll link it below so you can. But um, I still get a lot of blogging questions relating to like how to choose a name, how to choose a niche, which I did address in that big blog post, but not in heaps of detail. There's also like, I get questions about how I grew my audience um, and all of that, which I would love to talk about, but I also want to keep talking about personal growth and all of that kind of thing as well. And I just don't want my blog to become a blogging blog. But I was talking with Kit about potentially creating another blog that um, will basically just have all of those sorts of blog posts on it so that if you are interested in blogging you can check that blog out but if you're just interested in the personal development stuff then um, then smart 20s will have all of that so I have the domain smart 20s bloggers.com so I think I'm just going to use that and it won't be a blog in the sense that it won't be like updated every week I think it would just kind of be like I'd write a post about all the different topics and then every few months I'd make sure they're all still relevant and up to date but it wouldn't be like every single week like here's some new tactics or at least I'm not planning it to be because I love talking about personal growth I'm endlessly curious about personal development human behavior why we do what we do and I'm interested in blogging from a practical side of it because blogging is how I get to talk about all of that stuff. But I'm not a geek about all the different things. I'm, I do just like someone telling me the answer. I don't, whereas personal development, I kind of wanna come up with my own answer and figure it out with blogging. I just don't have the same like insatiable appetite as I do for personal development. So I just really want to stay true to what I'm interested in because that's going to end up with a better blog. Um, and yeah, if I'm writing just for the sake of it, but at the same time, I want to help you guys with the stuff that you ask me about. So I think this could be good. Let me know your thoughts. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm thinking at the moment, but I'm not going to, I'm going to set it up this week but I'm not going to like have it ready to go to kind of just I think be rolled out throughout the rest of the year I don't know but moving's kind of like top priority at the moment and just keeping up with my podcast with my YouTube videos with all of that um yeah I was also thinking this morning it's just so interesting like me always chatting about what I'm up to in my coaching sessions just from like a selfish point of view that now I'm recording all of this I can just watch it back and be like, oh, that's so interesting that, like, you know what I mean? It's just really cool that I'm documenting all of this just for my own benefit. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it was a really good coaching session and I'm really excited about everything. And today I just felt like, like when I was just sitting there at my desk working on, like, updating a blog post. Um, the blog post about blogging actually I just was had like a pinch me sort of moment in a sense like um, I just really was like is this really how I get to spend my day like just um, I don't know I did self coaching scholars which is really interesting I think I'll talk about that another day um, because I have to drive to work shortly but just about choosing positive emotions to feel and also choosing which negative emotions I'm willing to feel and being really conscious about, you know, life is about positive emotion and negative emotion, even though we all say we want to be happy. We don't want to be happy when someone dies. We don't want to be happy when something horrible happens. Um, and fear and all of that does serve a purpose as well. So just being willing to like let those negative emotions in because 
those negative emotions often happen anyway but we just try to resist them and often we overeat over drink um go on instagram all the time like we don't it's just learning how to allow them so that they don't rule our lives so so interesting so i did that and then i was just creating pinterest graphics for my blog post and updating it and just thinking of different creative ways that i could make it better i've also added to the bottom of that blog post a list of all the new blogs that have been started so a few weeks ago when we did the smart 20s blogging challenge um which was when i put out that post i was like if any of you guys want to start or revive a blog this week i will send out your blog to my email list so I did that and I got so much positive feedback from you guys about getting to see all the other blogs that have been created and like getting to connect with other people who've just started a blog. And I just thought I'm going to add add it all to the bottom of that blog post. So if you start a blog, then all you need to do is email me and within a week I'll update that blog post and include your blog. So that means that whenever anyone comes to that blog post, they can potentially end up on your blog so yeah I just thought that would be a really good way to have you guys connect with each other be inspired by each other make friends with each other and also hopefully give you some motivation to just get started because we can get so caught up in the fear um, and the self-doubt and all of that so that's what we're talking about today feeling really good um, I think I know I was saying to Kit also I've been eating really healthy this last week and um, just been like really disciplined and it feels so good it doesn't feel like deprivation it feels like control and commitment um, and I think that that just lays such a good foundation for everything else and I've always found that if I'm eating healthy everything else is easier Exercise is probably number two. If I'm eating healthy, then everything else is easier. If I'm exercising and eating healthy, then everything else is heaps easier in the sense that I'm like in the habit of following through with my plans. And I think with eating, just because you have to eat so often, like a few times a day, that I'm constantly having that integrity with myself. Kit was saying he thinks it's like an integrity foundation in the sense that... Um, that yeah I'm just having that integrity with eating and so it carries over so that's been huge as well I know in the last few weeks I've been talking about struggling with it but I think I really feel like it was the same kind of self-sabotage as with the um the being stressed about about uploading my youtube videos I feel like it's so simple to eat healthy I've done it so well before and just being stressed about it slash not doing it properly and being like giving into that um instant gratification sort of thing like it was just a way to keep me distracted and yeah just keep me busy so I could stay in my comfort zone really so yeah I feel like I'm making some good progress <laughs> um I'm gonna head to work now but yeah I hope you're having a really nice day and I will chat to you tomorrow bye